in front of me today I've got the Retreat Bag pattern by Emmeline Bags, which is a fabulous free download from Emmeline Bags. The two on the front of the picture here, this is the what I call the small one, um, which is like really great as an everyday wash bag. The larger one, again, could be a wash bag, but I've I created a video in a class of how actually to make that into an everyday handbag. Uh, but I have been asked about how I make the extra large one. So I th thought I'd show you how I've pattern hacked, um, which is um, a normal kind of um, everyday thing you can do with any any pattern, be it a bag pattern or a dressmaking pattern. So I'm going to show you the dimensions, original dimensions for this one, and then what I've done to create an extra large bag pattern. So in front of me, I have a tissue paper of that large one. And the dimensions of the large one are 18 and a half by 12. And you cut all your fabric to that size. But when you want to create an extra large one, we're going to need to put an extra four inches on the bottom. So how I've done that is I've created a pattern piece for the interface and the lining. Now the interface and the lining will measure the same distance across the top, which is 18 and a half, but the length is now 16. And you would cut your two foam, your fo four woven interface, and two of your linings in that. But for the outside of the bag, where you've got that lovely contrast bottom, is you're going to cut two pieces of the exterior main fabric, so your main design, would be 10 inches tall, but it's still the same width across, which is 18 and a half. And then the bottom part, just move that up so you can see, it would be the same across, but it would be seven inches tall. Now, I still use the same bottom of the bag, whether it's a three inch cutout for the bottom of the bag, but instead of having a quarter inch seam allowance, um, joining these two pieces of fabric because we're going to fold over and top stitch I've actually got half an inch seam allowance so if you want to go on after this class and create an extra large one it really is as simple as creating two pieces of fabric stitching them down that line folding both of those back and pressing and then top stitching and then attaching everything else in the same order as you would do for um, the bag pattern or the video that's on my Facebook and YouTube channel. So I hope that helps and explains what a, a pattern hack is. <laughs> 